Hey, what's up everybody? Jonathan Weinman here, and today I'll be going over the advanced and options tabs in the DWE control app. Now, because snares, toms, hi-hats, and cymbals all play so differently, we have unique settings for those individual instruments. The advanced and options tabs lets us customize the kit. So we're gonna start with the snare drum and the advanced tab. The first adjustment on the top left is the rim shot versus head. It's used for adjusting the crossover point between the head zone and the rim shot zone. Now, if you move the knob more to the rim shot side, you're going to hear more rim shots than the center head sound. The knob below the rim shot versus head knob is the rim versus rim shot. This control determines the crossover point between the rim sound and the rim shot sound. This is gonna respond in the same way. Now on the right side of the advanced tab are some controls that are specific to the snare drum. On the top right, we have positional sensing smoothness and below it is positional sensing range. These controls interact with a second set of samples that change from the center to the edge of the snare drum. Positional sensing is used to make the snare drum have a natural transition from the center head sound to an edge sound, just like on an acoustic drum. The positional sensing smoothness control is used to filter out center hits from the edge zone of a drum, so you only hear the edge sounds. The center hits will be filtered out the more you increase the value. The last advanced tab control for the snare is the positional sensing range. This determines where on the drum the edge sound will be triggered. A higher setting will require you to play closer to the edge. Now depending on how you play, having the edge sound too close to the rim may not be what you want. So now that we've covered the advanced tab for the snare drum, let's jump over and check out the toms. So we have the rim shot to head and rim to rim shot, just like the snare drum. Those controls are gonna work in the exact same fashion. Let's move on from the toms and check out the ride cymbal. Now the ride has bow versus bell, and this is gonna work in the exact same way that the rim shot versus head control did for the drums. But we are just adjusting the crossover point between the bow and the bell. All right, let's go over to the hi-hat and see what that has for advanced settings. You're gonna see that it has the same bow versus bell settings just like the ride, but some additional options. We're gonna cover those in another video specific to the hi-hat. Okay, now we've jumped through all the advanced tabs. Let's go over to the options tab. Since we're on the hi-hat, you can see that it has the LED on hit. This means that the blue LED lights illuminate when the symbol is hit. Now by default, this setting is turned on, so you can see the trigger light come up when you hit the symbol. Now there may be times when you wanna have the light turned off. An example of this may be if you're on a completely dark stage and the producer wants no ambient lighting. Now let's jump over to the crash symbol. Now this has LED on hit, but also has FSR auto calibration. The LED on hit functions the same as the hi-hat and the light flashes when the symbol is struck. Now the FSR auto calibration is used for the edge of the symbol to make sure the edge trigger is always adjusting its levels for an even playing experience. By default, this is gonna be turned on. Okay, let's go back to the snare drum since it has the most options of any drum. So the snare drum also has the LED on hit checkbox. And below that, you'll see the rim zone, rim shot zone, and cross stick zone on off checkboxes. So this is gonna let you have the zone activated or turned off, but typically you'll wanna have them turned on to have the most natural playing experience. Sometimes you may want a single zone drum set up with only one sound to trigger. A great example of this is just having a hand clap or an 808 sample on a tom. 
Now moving over to the top right, we have pitch bend. This option allows you to pitch up the drum by pressing down on the drum head and striking it. This is one of the features that really makes this kit stand out and play just like an acoustic kit. By default, the pitch bend on the snare drum is turned off as the cross stick option is normally used. The snare drum only allows for one of these features to be active at any given point. Now below pitch bend is the positional sensing option. This allows you to have center to edge sounds so the drum has more playability. The last option on the snare drum is the throw off on off. This allows the snare drum's throw off to be used as the snare's off sound or an alternate set of sounds. Let's jump back over to the toms and see what options are available. Now you can see that I have the LED on hit, rim zone, rim shot zone, and pitch pin, just like the snare drum. This lets me remove zones, have the LED on when I hit the tom, and have pitch bending too. The pitch bending option is on by default on the toms. And with pitch bending enabled, you also have the option to hand dampen the drum. Now let's jump over to the kick drum options. Kick drum's a little bit more simple. All you have is LED on hit. And these are all the settings options in the advanced and options tabs in the DWE control app. Thanks for watching. I'm Jonathan. We'll catch you again in the next video.